In this video, I'm going to show you how to zoom in on clips using keyframes with the Shotcut Video Editor. And this is 2024 August, so it's latest uh, Shotcut. So I got a clip in the timeline of a butterfly flapping his wings around on a flower. And we're going to go to the Filters tab right here. And we're going to click the little plus button. And just type a word like zoom or size, position, rotate. Click on that. And now we have this effect attached to this clip. So what we're going to do now is we want to enable keyframing. So we're going to move the playhead to the beginning of the clip. And we're going to click on this little hourglass right here. This enables keyframes. Let's do it for the rotation as well. So now if I just play the clip and if I decide to zoom in and it's going to add a little keyframe so you did it right here so if i go to the beginning it's just going to zoom right in just like that and i can go down to the keyframes down here let me let me get a little bit more real estate for them we're gonna make that a bit smaller you can see this is the keyframe for the zoom and this is keyframes for the rotation you know if i change the rotation it's going to add a keyframe for the rotation now the clip's going to rotate as well see it rotates and it zooms you know i can modify the rotation or the zoom just by grabbing the keyframe and dragging it down i could bring it over here i could bring it over here so it's a nice long slow rotation for for instance so now it's just going to keep on rotating but it's going to do it very slowly and i could do the same thing with the zoom i can drag the zoom over here it's going to zoom very slowly now see that it's quite simple to do actually now in here i can use these little arrows to step to the keyframe see it just brought me right to this keyframe and i can hit delete the little trash can i could go to this keyframe by using the arrows and i can click delete as well and now i'm just back to the regular clip just as it was normally so let's say maybe right here i want to start a zoom I can go to the keyframes and I can click this, which will manually add a keyframe right there. Then I can play the clip. And when I get to the point where I want to be zoomed in all the way, just go to the slider here and just zoom it in all the way, just like that. And let's say I wanted to zoom in to where the butterfly is. Well, I can just grab the, the little um, grab handle here on the clip and I can drag it where the butterfly is but i'm actually running out of real estate right now so i'm going to go here and i'm going to zoom out to 10 percent so i can still see this little handle and i'll zoom into his pretty little face there and what's going to happen now is the clip's going to be normal looking right here let's let's zoom to fit again but when it gets to this keyframe here it's going to start to zoom and it's going to complete the zoom when it makes it to this keyframe here so we're going to hit play and it starts to zoom, and then it completes the zoom right there. And you know, we could add a keyframe on the rotation. Just click right there, and we can decide that this clip is going to rotate like crazy. And maybe we can just make it rotate slowly, so that way it gives everybody a headache. So it's going to zoom in, and when it gets to here, it's going to start to spin. See, now it's spinning around and around and around. And we could even have it zoom out after it starts to spin. So let's go to the size position rotate. Let's add a keyframe and let's let it play for a second. And then right here, let's just type um, 100 for 100%. And let's go to position type zero there and zero right here to bring it back to center. And now the clip's going to zoom out. That's this keyframe here. It's going to start to zoom out and it's going to complete its zoom out right here as it's rotating. It's going to be quite the fun clip. Okay, so we're going to zoom in. Now we start to rotate. Now we start to zoom out while it's rotating, and it just centers back there. Actually, it never centered. Well, let's say we want it to center. So let's go to the rotation. Let's use the little arrows and thumb our way over to this keyframe here. And let's just type, uh, well, let's, let's get it so it's centered, whatever that needs to be. 360 is centered. So now let's play it again, and this time it's going to stop at center while it's rotating. See that? Just like that. 
And again, you can thumb through these keyframes. You can delete them. You know, you can go to these ones, delete them. Um, actually, I just added one. Delete it. And, you know, it, it's really quite simple um, to keyframe the zoom effect in the shortcut video editor. And, and that's how you do it. And now that I did something for you, I would like for you to go to the video description and click the link to my Zazzle store. I have a lot of metal wall art, mostly of the ocean. Um, you could you know, hang this on your walls. It's high quality metal wall art. This thing will pop on your wall. Same with this. I would like for you to go to the video description and click that link and either buy something or better yet, share it on your social media to somebody who you think would like something like this because it would help me out quite a bit. And I will keep the tutorials coming. Um, if you have an idea for a tutorial, something you want to see, let me know. And I will show it to you uh, if I'm able to. So, yeah, click the link in the video description to my Zazzle store. Share it with somebody that you think might like this type of art. And I will see you at the next video. Thank you.